Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter seven talking about people skills and team composition and continuing ahead with another topic of this chapter that is 7.3, the test team dynamics. In this particular tutorial, we are basically targeting that what exactly a team must be comprising of and what kind of uh, responsibility does the test manager has at this point of time. And there might be several consequences which a test manager can actually face and making sure that the test manager is well prepared for such things. And in fact, prepared in the terms of hiring such people or selecting such people for the team and the group of the testing will help the test manager in order to overcome such barriers and negative impacts on the project. And that's where the test team dynamics helps the test manager to enable the right set of people to be available at the right type, right point of time and for the right job. Now, basically a test manager should thrive to build a great team and uh, should look forward to the previous things what we have discussed is the individual skills and the personality interpersonal skills and a lot many other things and we'll be operating on those things here that what exactly are those detailed qualities a tester should possess in order to be called as a great tester or other way around a test manager should look forward to in a candidate to be hired for the organization to be a part of the testing team. Now, to build the best team possible, staff selection is one of the most important functions of a management role in the organization. There are many items to consider in addition to the specific individual skills required for the job. And that's where we say that just being technically strong does not help you. You may have to communicate with different stakeholders. Sometimes you have to present your job to different stakeholders and your management and coordinating with your fellow members and colleagues are equally important. So just not being technically strong would be enough. We should look forward to the candidates who know everything from the management point of view, communication, presentation, and interpersonal skills from the point of how exactly you put content over the mail and other reporting parts. So having those kind of you know abilities will add more value to your team and make it more stronger. Now, when selecting an individual to join the team, the dynamics of the team must be considered. What do you mean by that? Will this person co complement the skills and personality types that already exist within the test team? That means there might be several people who are already working. Will this person be a perfect fit into your team or not? Because not everyone mingles together, maybe just because they have a different attitude, different personality, different skill set, and they sometimes feel themselves act like you know uh you know completely different from the team or sometimes they feel that okay i'm working with you know kiddos and uh, they don't really know what i'm aware of so a lot of such things does happen so judging those things from you know, the new recruits and new candidates is really important for the test manager now another thing that it is important to consider the advantages of having a variety of personality types on the test team as well as mix of technical skills which will basically make your team more stronger and uh, the other people can actually work together to make that thing happen or a product to be like tested precisely because one may be proficient enough from the point of uh, criticality of the risk analysis or sometimes people will be strong enough with designing the test cases another person is expert in the automation and lot many other such things a strong test team is able to deal with multiple projects of varying complexity while also successfully handling the interpersonal interaction with the other project team members Testing is often a high pressure job. Of course, we do understand that because a lot of time, uh, generally, uh, when it comes to the testing lifecycle, we get minimal time to test the entire product compared to the other lifecycle activities. That's where we are generally getting uh, high pressure jobs when we work with a uh, testing team. Software development schedules are often compressed and even unrealistic sometimes. Stakeholders have high expectations of the test team sometimes unreasonably so as well. Now the test manager must hire people who will deal well with these high pressure situation, who can deflect frustration and who can concentrate on the work even when the schedule seem impossible. It is up to the test manager to deal with the schedule and expectation issues. We, we are not requesting the test team members to do that. Of course, the test manager has to have the responsibility of determining that how to avoid this 
unforeseen situations for the testing but a team must be always prepared that what happens if in case we get something late in the cycle are we prepared enough to handle that or like what could be the test cases which should be executed first so we may follow that let's execute the high priority test case at least and the other test cases can follow so you know be prepared with those kind of agendas from the test team point of view also uh, you know the test manager will definitely deal with the schedule and expectations issue, but the test manager must also understand that these pressures are felt by the team members as well. Now, you know, test manager should take everything into account. It's just not that, okay, we are coming up with a great wave and we all have to handle it. But you should know that whether your team can handle it or not, because you might be experienced enough being a test manager to, you know, manage such things or handle those pressures but not maybe the team is qualified enough to do that so are you really having a strong wall to defend it or they will just get shattered so when the test manager is acquiring people for the team it is important to consider the working environment and to match the personality types to that particular environment in an environment where there is more work than the time the test manager should be seeking people who finish their task and ask what they can do next so it's just generally from the point of like people who are self-motivated and self uh, you know encouraged in terms of working on uh, you know a self-paced mode and generally not being instructed and that's where we talk about agile a little bit and say that agile comes with those kind of people where people are not generally asked about that have you done that? Have you completed this job or not? And people know their responsibility themselves and they just try to keep up the track and they come back to the board and pick up the next task. Nobody instructs them, right? And similar thing, what we are expecting here to be hired as a team who are willing enough to complete the job and come back and say that, okay, what's next for me? Is there anything I should do because I'm idle or probably I've done my job, whatever I was supposed to do. Also to add, of course, here we are listing some of the skills which might be important for you to be aware of being a test manager in an organization. And we are just trying to classify them into two categories. Number one is the technical skills, also called as hard skills by the testers and interpersonal skills, which are referred to as soft skills. So let's get started with the technical skills here. When determining how to hire to add the test team, an objective assessment of skills can be helpful. This can be done via interviewing, testing the candidate itself, uh, reviewing work samples, and by verifying references. Skills that should be assessed include the technical and the soft skills. So let's get started with the technical skills. And again, these are very straightforward uh, to be remembered, to be answered in the examination. So we have deriving test cases from a requirement to document, reviewing technical documentation, which is from the static testing point of view, writing review comments in a clear, understandable and objective way, applying various testing techniques appropriately to given scenario, which is from the uh, black box or white box point of view, assessing a failure and documenting it accurately, which is from the point of raising a report or defect report, demonstrating an understanding of defect classification information, demonstrating an understanding of root causes of the defects, using a tool to test a given API, that's from the point of automation or automating your API testing, using a SQL to find, alter, find and alter databases information test for a given scenario, that means they should be good at databases as well, designing a test automation harness that will execute multiple tests and gather test results, executing automated tests and troubleshooting the failures related to the test scripts, writing test plans and specifications. Now that something can conflict with your understanding that generally that is done by the test manager, right? Of course, yes, but here we are talking about contributing to the test manager, not precisely writing. And from tomorrow, when they become senior in the organization, they can definitely write that as well. And writing a test summary report that includes an assessment of the test result, it again goes with the same. So these are some of the technical things which are generic, which generally we look forward to in the test testers profile. But of course, there might be a lot of other things which are specific to domain, specific to the industry your organization works with. So you have to list them all and call it as a job description, which you should look forward to by interviewing them. Also to add on the other hand, we have some soft skills which are interpersonal skills which can be captured and analyzed by the test manager while recruiting people. 
that is presenting information regarding a test object or project that is behind schedule sometime like being more positive and looking forward to negotiation on the timeline so that the team can do their best in the given number of hours explaining a defect report to a developer who thinks that is not a defect the way you communicate in such situations are so convincing and so pleasing that you try to be more patient and try to prove with a lot of justifications and snapshots that why exactly do you think it is a defect and why a developer should accept it training a co-worker is also very important because you are one of the source who can deploy your entire experience to somebody else presenting a problem to the management regarding a process that is not effective that is from the point of gathering lessons learned reviewing a test case created by a co-worker and presenting the comments to that person because that should be more of a polite and constructive way not just criticizing the person who wrote it interviewing a co-worker complimenting a developer <laughs> complimenting a developer could be difficult enough but yes you have to as far as you have to correlate and collaborate and work together you have to be complimenting your fellow members is what we mean here well of course this is uh, we have got some of the assets and some of the key points here to consider from the technical as well as interpersonal skills but while this is not a complete list and the specific desired skills will vary between the environment and the organization it is a list of skills that are commonly needed by creating effective interview questions and allowing skill demonstrations the test manager can assess the skills of the candidate and determine areas of strength and weaknesses now that's very well important that of course when you work in different platforms different technologies you may have different needs from the people so evaluating them effectively is very important no matter what your skill set are which you are looking for but you should interview them effectively so that you know exactly that the candidate can actually present it so nobody is faking around in addition to the skills needed by the individual contributors the test manager must also possess excellent communication and diplomatic skills because sometimes the test manager has to deal with certain situations which you actually don't predict or you don't expect to happen but of course they happen so that's where it is very important for the test manager to be more of communication driven and diplomatic skills to be possessed the test manager must be able to diffuse controversial situations must know the correct media to use for the necessary communications and must be able to focus on building and maintaining relationship within the organizations so all in one single statement is that we are trying you to be more and more collaborative and at the same time being more diplomatic as well as like more of a kind of like you know problem solver for the entire team so that the team can cohere together and work together without any kind of disputes so more of a like you know playing a role of referee sometime but yes that's the test manager role being technical as well as more non technical from the management point of view well that was a video on talking about what exactly the test team dynamic should comprise of and the test manager responsibility at this point of time that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm over there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep in this tiny the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning